first and most important thing you can get yourself is a grooming table. I have a full size table because I'm a groomer, but they're not great for having these because it gives them too much room to walk around. So I have this little portable one. It has an arm that basically it folds down flat and I take it everywhere with me. When I go on holiday, I take this table with me. Um, I'll put a link below because it's, it's only £56 and I think it's such good value for money. It, it folds flat, it goes in the boot of your car and it's just the perfect size. Having these fits on it, which you'll see from some of the other videos, but it doesn't give them the room to move around so they can't mess you around while you're grooming and they can only stand on it um, with, with enough space to groom them well. But it's just the perfect size and it's portable. So you can store it at home, it folds flat, you can put it down the side of a cupboard, you can keep it in your car boot. It's just a really good investment. And the best way to groom a Havanese dog is to get them up at height on a grooming table. So that's my first recommendation. So here's some of the basic equipment you need for grooming a Havanese. Um, I'll start with just you don't have to go expensive, a cheap set of scissors off um, the internet. Um, I've got straights, I've got curves and I've got some thinners. But you do need a pair of scissors to cut round the feet and to trim the paws. Nail clippers, I will do a video on how to clip nails three different ways. One with clippers, one with a nail file and one with a grinder. Um, but they have quite prolific nails and you do need to trim the nails on the Havanese. The most important thing I think for having ease is a comb. So I've got three different combs here. This does everything. It's got quite wide teeth and it's got narrower teeth which are good for around the face. But a comb is the most important thing for getting in the coat and finding all the knots. If you have nothing else, a comb is really important. This is a wide tooth comb, so it's a good one to start with to get in the coat. Then I can go in with a finer one. And this is just a cheap one pound shot one for down your own hair but that end is really good for doing plaits and doing the top knot bit and doing styles. Brushes, I have a set of different brushes, this is my everyday brush uh, for just a quick brush through every single day, it's wooden uh, with bamboo um, spikes, they don't have the bobbles on the end so they don't damage your coat in any way and a wooden brush um, doesn't create static so it's a lovely brush for brushing through and I will do a how to brush your dog uh, video so you can see me using that. A couple of more, these are really old if you have a look at the state of them, they're well used. That's a Madame brush but the pin brushes basically, they're very similar, they do the same thing, the pin brushes uh, and again they don't have the bobbles on the end so they just go straight into the fur. So brushing is great for when you're drying, brush 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 when you're drying. So a couple of brushes, the daily brush, drying brushes, and then the last one is the slicker, a flexible slicker. So a hard slicker uh, will pull against the coat. A flexible slicker won't do the same damage to the coat. These are great if you want to break down a mat to work at the mat. So if you can pull it apart with your hands and break it down with that. Uh, I also use them for drying because, because of all those little prongs, you get the air between the coat and it helps you dry the dog faster. So brushes all have the place, especially for bathing, but I feel the most important thing you can do for having these is a comb and to comb through the coat. They also have a couple of mixing bottles, so one for shampoo, one for conditioner. If you buy your shampoos and conditioners in bulk, then they're usually, you have to dilute them and the mixing bottles tell you what ratios to dilute on the side. Um, but they're also very easy to distribute the shampoo and the conditioner through the coat so just two mixing bottles is all you need and then finally dental bands these are actually loom bands but I find loom bands don't stay in the hair you can buy the ones in clothes accessories for our own hair or I find the best ones are the dental bands they're really small and fine just get them out really really tiny really fine and they stay in the hair really really well so as well as your table, your basic equipment, um, I will link, might not be the same ones, but I'll link below uh, as many different products as I can so you can have a look at them and price them all up. But invest in a good set of grooming equipment when you very first get your Havanese.